Hello everybody and welcome back to DCS World. So if you haven't seen part one of how we fly this thing, go watch it. You're going to need it because that showed you how to start this bad boy up and get it ready for takeoff. Well, get it taxied out to the runway, everything's all set up. So, we're going to do a couple of things as we essentially taxi out and on. That's going to be arm this guy, set our flaps to half, uh, let's do a quick check, double check, oh come on, zero the trim, reset the FCS page, canopy is off, open, so we need to close that. Neat. Oh yeah. Alright, canopy is closed. Airs are cleared. We can't actually set that page, so we are good to go. Alright, quick check. Hook bypass set to field. Uh, landing and taxi lights, we should have turned that on. Anti skid is on. Launch bar is retracted. Let me hop over to the right side. Altitude is set to 200 for a takeoff. Alright, verify flaps and wings are down and in their correct position. Let's call Batumi and request takeoff. See if he gives us a QFE. Might. That's weird. Because if we're at 2992, that would be weird. I think he ignored us. Try again. Maybe. Come on. Maybe. Uh, is there somebody else on final? I think he's just ignoring us. Well, with that, feed off the brakes, give her a little bit of gas. We're going to ignore him because he's ignoring us. Um, our initial heading is going to be 310. We're going to do 310. That'll set our heading down here. There's your heading bug. Alright. We should be rolling. Come on. There we go. Now we're rolling. Cords are doing all the funky stuff. Alright. We are good. We should have been cleared for takeoff, but we're not, so we're pretending we were. He's going to call back in just a second, probably. We don't need the extra 30 feet of runway. Alright, we line up on the center line. Well, yeah, I'm ready on the thing. There we go. Two nine eight nine. We're gonna go down here. Set two nine eight nine. Current altitude is ten feet. All right, brakes off. Throttling up. Eighty percent good spool. Going up to full mill. Actually, going fully into afterburner to get us going. Oh, that just sounds good. And she will magically lift us off. Alright, holding about 6 degrees. Positive rate, gear up. Woo! Flaps automatic. Pulling burner back and climbing to a thousand feet. Alright. So, we are actually going to navigate out to the carrier. So, I know it's generally in this direction-ish. We're going to fly out at about 350 knots, ideally a thousand feet, but we got to get there first. We're going really quick. Alright, so, navigation portion. 
we are going to set our TK in. Turn it on. I know the carrier frequency is 2. Set that to enter. We are navigating, so we're going to set you to the HSI. HSI. I've got that set on 2. I can see the carrier off to my left. For whatever reason, it's not picking up my TCAN. It's not picking up this guy. That's extraordinarily unfortunate. We might just be too far out. There is that possibility. So we are a thousand feet. We're going to try and come in at 350 knots. I know he's got a rough heading of 270. Actually, he's flying 28. Sorry. He's driving. Steaming? 280. And we're going to set our heading. Well, our heading's good. We're doing 350 knots, 1,000 feet. We need to increase altitude. Eh, we'll do a direct in. It's unusual that you get a direct, but we're going to go direct. And just out of curiosity, I'm going to plug in my TCAN channel 1. See if that pops up. And it's not, which is a little weird. INS is on. It's all good. Let's plug it into 16. That's Batumi. Clear. TCAN 16. It's Batumi. It found it. Okay, there's the carrier. Uh, unfortunate. We are drifting a little right and coming up a little bit. Also a little slow. Let's drift a little left. We're Webs are auto. Let's set you clear. TCAN 2. Enter. See if you ever pick it up. It should pick up the carrier, but for whatever reason, it's not. Anyways, we have the boat in sight. We're going to call them. ATC John Stennis inbound. Down here. Nine nine three. So we're actually going to join the pattern. Ooh, that's a little zoomed. We are definitely going to join the pattern, doing three hundred knots at two thousand feet. So that is essentially the minimum. So the pattern you fly is a thousand. So we're gonna do this at two thousand, and it steps up every five hundred feet, I believe, starting at fifteen hundred. So we're gonna start at two thousand. Once we've been cleared to land, we will fly. Yeah, we will come down, down, and we will essentially. Well, it's going to be interesting to say the least. Essentially, we fly it at 2,000 feet, do basically a left-handed gigantic circle until he says we are cleared to come down, and then you can stack every 500 feet. So there's us at 2,000 feet, then they can have another flight at 2,500 feet, 3,000, 3,500, etc. Sweet. So now, at this point, we would switch over frequencies. We're a little fast. We're going to fly this pattern at... Ooh, let's go 350. We're getting close, so we are going to ping him. Or not. Why is he not requesting? There we go. Okay, so we are in the pattern at 2,000 feet, and we are going to do a descending behind us. So, we are on the carrier, which I can't see. Grr. I think he's right below us, so we're going to make a left hand, staying at the same altitude turn, roughly 30 degrees of bank. 
keeping that 30 degrees, keeping our altitude until we get to 190. 190 we can descend all the way down to pattern altitude. There's the boat. So we're at 2000. We're going to do a slightly extended and uh, no, we got to descend down to 800 feet from 2000. So we're going to be throwing out all sorts of fun stuff. Wow, I'm terrible at maintaining that 30 degrees. So this does take a while. The boat's way out there now. And when we hit 100, at that point, we will be rolling out. Because then we will be essentially perpendicular to them. Just kind of going to leave the throttle settings where they are. We ideally should be maintaining the same speed, but it doesn't really matter. Usually they would give you a speed to fly the pattern when you arrive, or they just don't care and you can fly whatever you like. So, at the moment, we're flying that. There's the boat, quite a ways out there. Six miles, so we were supposed to be flying about five mile pattern. All right, there's one zero zero. We're gonna pull back a little on the speed. Maintain our turn. Actually, we're going to do a little bit less. It should be about one minute to go around to the left. In a standard turn, so we need to send 800, and we need to do so at about five to 600 feet per minute, and a little under a 30 degree turn. Because we want to do it in slightly more than the standard 30 seconds. My T can's not picking it up, and I don't know why. It's really unfortunate. Still descending, come on. I know how to descend, I swear. So normally you would enter coming towards the back of the boat at anywhere from say 300 to 350 knots. That's what I've heard so far from some of the other guys that are doing this. One of the actual F-18 guys. So we need to shallow up a little bit or else we're gonna really be coming over right over the back of the ship, which is not necessarily good. We're going to give it a little bit more power. Still continue our descent. We're trying to keep that beautiful carrier. Well, we're trying to fly at 800 feet, which I think we'll hit, but we want to be slightly off to the left. We are very off to the left. It's a little too far. Pretty close on altitude. So pull back on the speed a little bit. Alright, we're at 770. There goes the carrier. I like it. We're going to give ourselves a little extra room. Normally you would do this anywhere from right over the deck out to... Essentially everybody has to stay within 5 miles of the carrier. So, we are going to brake 30 degrees, pull all the way back, speed brake as necessary, flaps staying at auto, and at some point in this turn, we are going to hit 250 knots. At that point, we extend the gear, set flaps to full, drop our hook, that's 250, set flaps to full, oh boy, maintaining this, hook down, Go bypass, get off, lights off. Eh, nope. Descending into the drink. Not a good pattern. So we want to be roughly 1.2 miles from the carrier. Which I think we pooched. Heading the exact opposite direction which is technically 100. We need to trim 
to get that velocity vector inside that E bracket. That will give us on speed and on glide slope. We want to descend to 600 feet. We're controlling altitude with speed now. Doing terribly, but we're controlling it. In a way. Alright, we are just about... That's 1.6 miles, so we're going to have to extend slightly. We are a little too close. We're making our turn because we can see plenty of beam. And a little throttle. Too much throttle. Maintaining that 30 degrees of bank. We need slightly underneath the horizon. 30 degrees. Slightly underneath, maintaining a about 350, eh, 350 is a little much, especially for this. Let's maintain about 200. We are way overturned, so we are not even going to try this. This is going to be a missed approach. We are going to climb to 700, eh, pattern altitude, which is about 500 feet. Falling out of the sky again. Great at this. The jet's not exactly reactive, the way that I would really like it to be. The spool-up time on the engines is insane. Pretty sure everything's in. Oh, everything that needs to be. Alright, so there's 500 feet. Let's climb to 800. Get us a little bit... Oh, that's cool. A little bit of altitude. And now we're going to begin our left-hand turn. 30 degrees. We're going to be a little far from the ship. So we're going to have to compensate for that. We need to be at 600 feet and on speed when we finish this turn and are abeam the ship. That was definitely not my best approach. Alright, so we are at 700 feet. We are overturning a little bit. We are getting close to our direction of travel that we would like. There's 100. Roll out, decrease throttle. No, come on. Play nice. No, we need to be... Oh, there's 600. And a beam the ship. So add throttle. Make your left hand turn 30 degrees. 30 degrees of bank, and we're only supposed to be at 200 through roughly northish, about 010. We are a little bit low. We need to be about 4... Yeah, we need to be about 490 right here, which is not happening. And we need to come out at 290. Which is also not happening. Alright, let's get lined up with the ship, which that should have done, but we were way far out. This is nowhere near in the groove, so even if we did make this, which I'm not getting the feeling we will, because, well, we're not even lined up with the runway. Come on. Come on. Fly in the ball. I can't see the ball. We were low. Full power, full afterburner. Bounce off the deck. Climb to 500 feet. We are extremely light. So a 500 foot climb is quite relatively quick. Line up with the ship so that we're not going the wrong direction. And make our left hand turn. Well, there was a bolter. We were definitely not lined up. That was partially due to a couple of different factors. One, I did not maintain that 30 degrees, nor did I maintain 600 feet. So our speed was all over the place. 
We were too close to the carrier. Oof, that's hard to maintain. Very hard to maintain. Yep. We are coming around. There's 100. Cut the throttle. Well, not cut, but... Maintain altitude. Wait till we hit a beam the ship. We are just about in the right place. Let's not blast through it. That's the back of the ship. Let's add power. Rotate 30 degrees. Alright, we need to be at 490 at 010. That's the goal. We're going the wrong direction. Now, throttle for pitch. Uh, boy, that was not how I wanted to get to 490, but that's 490. Yeah. Throttle for altitude and pitch. Oh boy, we're coming in, interestingly to say the least. Oh, come on, that was good. So you need to line slightly to the right of the ship. We also need to do some ball flying, which I really can't do. I'm terrible at it. So I can never see the ball. I always drop pretty friggin' hard at the end. Not even a ball on the deck. We are way off. At full power. Oh, wow. Somehow we made that. Not very well, but we made it. Hook up. Wings up. Release the brakes. Turn on nose wheel high. Come on, wings. I set up. There we go. Yeah, I know the wings are unlocked. Um, we are going to taxi over here. Oh, there's half of our problem. We landed really heavy. That was most of our problem. And for whatever reason, 27 knots is absolutely destroying any ability to line this thing up. Well chicks. Alright. That was a terrible landing, but you kind of get the principle. Um, 600 feet on entry, on speed, flaps extended, gear out, and yeah, then you make your 30 degree bank turn to the left. Uh, you extend, actually no, 30 degrees to the left, going down about 200, 220 feet per minute. Then you need to be at 490 on the 90 degree from the ship. Then as you come out and you roll out, you should be about not or 290 on speed, on glide slope, and it should just take you right in. It's a lot harder to do, as you can kind of tell, but that is the general principle of it. We made it on the ship, we did it incorrectly, but we're here, I guess, so... That'll be the end of this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That was pattern entry and how to land on the ship. I'm not the best at it. It really does help when you have an actual distance. The idea is to be 1.2 miles on your downwind. So, take that with a grain of salt. That's kind of all the information I heard from an actual F-18 pilot. I've noticed that it's easier to fly the correct pattern than it is to extend out and try and catch the glide slope. So take that as you will but this is the end of the episode thank you for joining me again if you hadn't seen part one go back and watch it and stay tuned for part three we're gonna go do some launching and refueling in the next one so we will see you guys in the next episode